any uh, rabbi or priest who knows That's the Bible by tough. heart. But now also at the Islamic Center, you have to you have to admit to the, the viewers that you actually have two oh, yes. people reciting because it is so hard. Because they get tired. Yeah. And whenever someone uh, re forgets something, he is reminded by the other uh, imam or uh, reciter. Now you also have some garments here. Well, I brought you these because I thought uh, that many people think stereotyping people is really a bad thing. Right. And uh, 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 it happened to me once. We do a lot of uh, 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 dialoguing. We have a, <coughs> a group called American Muslims and Jews in Dialogue between Bethel uh, in the Great Neck and the Islamic Center at Westbury. And one day I was uh, in a parade or something. I put on my uh, Arabian uh, uh, dress. <coughs> and one of our guests who came to the Islamic Center from the American Muslims and Jews, she was from Bethel uh, Synagogue, she told me she was scared when she saw me dressed in the Arab, and that she was uh, taken back. I said, why? Well, because she said that image to us in the media uh, had st is such a stereotype that we think of bad people. Right. And so I said, well, I am still the same guy you knew me. Right. Now, in fact, if I put this on you, Dan, would the audience think that you are a different person, or would they have the, or they would think you are still the same good guy? You see, every nationality or every culture has a way of getting dressed. This is simply to keep the sun ray away from you and the sand from your ears and your neck. Okay. And so when you go to the beach, your mom tells you when you were a kid, put on your hats. Well, this is the Arabian hat. Now, for it not to fly away, there are uh, 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 cords, uh, different ones. Now, do uh, they mean different things? Is there any significance well, beyond? Well, this is more expensive. This is uh, less expensive. That's okay. Uh, which one do you like? Let's go for the, uh, the more expensive one. Okay. It becomes like this, okay. and it goes over the head, like so. Now, I am sure if somebody didn't know you, right, and saw you dressed like this, they might say, aha, he is a terrorist. But why? It is the unfortunate thing is the media that is misrepresenting many people in the world, especially Muslims and Arabs have been demonized by the media for several reasons, we won't go into them now. Well, let's let's quickly in our last we, in our last few moments talk about the word jihad, which is one that's used in the media quite frequently. Definitely, jihad is a most misunderstood word in the West, as Islam is. Jihad is translated in the West as holy war. I checked our holy book, Al Quran, and I was not able to find that word holy war, because it does not mean so. Jihad means to strive to better oneself. Jihad means to control one's anger. Jihad means when I'm talking to you, I'm doing jihad, because I'm explaining something. You are doing jihad because you're trying your utmost to uh, do a good program. Right. To raise children in America is the most difficult jihad. Right. So that is the meaning of jihad in its essence. But also jihad has a military definition, or a portion of it is military. Right. And it is only in self-defense. Because the Quran says, and fight only those who fight you and drive you out of your homes and prevent you from performing your religious duties. Another phrase that's often used in the media, fundamentalism. Fundamentalism in the dictionary means it's a group of Christians who believe that the Bible is the word of God. That is the word of fundamentalism. If that's what the media means by fundamentalism, okay, the fundamentalism means that a billion and a half Muslim in the world are fundamentalists because we indeed believe that Al-Quran, the holy book, is the exact word of God. But if they mean extremists and violence, well then, they are extremist and violent Jews and extremist and violent Christians and extremist and violent Hindus, but do they represent the teaching of their religion? 
No, the same thing with Islam. Islam means peace, and Islam is to live at peace with God's creation, humanity. Violence, thank God, Muslims didn't start World War I, two, nor one, nor two, nor the Korean, nor the Vietnamese War, nor the Civil War, nor the uh, Spanish, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, the Spanish, uh, I'll remember it, in Spain, right. when, when, when <coughs> Ferdinand and Isabella uh, won against the Muslim. If another statement says, Islam was spread by the sword, well, where is the sword in America? And in America, the fastest growing religion is Islam. Where right. is the sword? Right. Muslims ruled Spain for 800 years. You think after one week of this 800 years, if the sword was used, you think Spain would have remained Catholic? Right. No. Now, as we go into our, in our closing moment here, one word that you said that you wanted to talk about was the word democracy, the concept of democracy yes. in Islam. Uh, tell me about that. <coughs> Democracy is based on consensus and on consultation. And that's exactly what the Quran teaches. He says, and solve your affairs in consensus. Therefore, democracy is based on the shura concept in Islam, which is okay. consensus. And so whoever. Gazi? Well, Thank you for being with us. Thank you. I'm Danny McHugh of Anton Community Newspapers, and you've been watching Insight Nassau. Thank you. Good night. You look like